You ready, baby? Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some more of this shit, man. Ah. Now, this guy some money, right? And this dude is crazy. He's a fucking psychopath. It was James who got me all caught up in this bullshit. Please, give me more time. What the fuck I'm gonna do with this? I can't do nothing with this shit. Your daddy owes me ten thousand dollars. I want my fucking money. What you expect me to do? I done tried everything. Everything? You try selling that pussy? What? My man, Jerome. What up, man? Woo! See that little brown thing in there? Well, let you have your way with it. You know, for G. What's up, man? Get in the car. We got a couple places to go. How the fuck are you? Stop, please. Stop. Got the keys and everything. What's up? This nigga trying to sell us a stolen car. I need $2 cash for it right now. Alright, alright, alright. I'm good on that. She wasn't your daughter. I have you try it out yourself, nigga. Don't fucking play with me. Thank you for cooperating with me today. Enjoy the rest of y'all evening. Oh, I wouldn't call the cops if I was y'all. I know where you live, and if I gotta come back here, this shit ain't gonna be pretty. All the times your ass was sick, I was the one who went out there and sold my pussy so you can get high. She's a good kid, she don't deserve to die. Should have gotten my fucking money.
Frank, um, from uh, I played the character of Jerome in this movie of uh, heroin. Alright, and what's your, your character? Was it like was your character that portraying the movie? Um, the character that I play, it really is like a character of a, um, a dark character. He uh, he actually um, supplies pressure to the situation. Um, there's a lot going on with the family and um, the dad getting in the situation. And uh, he just takes advantage of the situation, and it goes on and on from there. Is it first, your first time acting, or you've been in another movie before? I did. I did a movie before with uh, Rico. Um, it was called um, Brotherly Love. I don't know what they're calling it now. So like, this ain't our first one, but um, this is the first one that that I actually got the leading role. You know what I'm saying? So. Nah, nah, nah. We did it. We did ours first. Okay. Like they, they just took the thing and, you know, like, see, that's what I meant. I was going to be saying certain things that ain't supposed to be said. Yeah, yeah they took our name first. And we had real. the movie first. The internet radio and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was with Gilly and Vin um, Rames. Rames. Yeah, okay. so, you know. In there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who, I mean, that's who actually bought me, you know. Uh, Rico and Gilly actually bought me to acting. Like, I didn't have no t intentions to act. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was watching auditions because my friend was in one, and he was like, "Yo, you should try it." And uh, I tried it, and I'm here, so I'm excited about it. You know what I'm saying? You see the turnouts? Turnouts crazy. Um, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a kid from a small neighborhood, so I'm really excited about anything. You know what I mean? So you small hood. About the turnout, see, it's, it's a good turnout. So how you feeling about the movie? What do you think is gonna do big things, or what do you start for? I think people I mean what the the trailer shows, like the trailer shows a lot of me being a dark character, but the movie has so many hidden messages, so many storylines, because it's really about a mother, um, a, a mother, and then a, um, a father, a father and a daughter. So it's really that type, like. It's, those three, you know what I'm saying? I'm just the person that comes along and provides the violence, in a sense. <laughs> you play, you play the bad guy in the movie, basically. Yeah, you gotta have a villain. You gotta have a somebody villain. Gotta be, somebody gotta be the bad guy. Be the bad guy. God chose me, I'm happy, so, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to just take it to a, I'm happy about this, I'm happy about, you know, we all from Jersey and, and Trenton and all that stuff, so, okay. you know, for Philly to show so much love, it was like, it's crazy to me, I'm, you know what I mean, excited. You know what I mean? Well, we appreciate you. What, what do you got coming up next? Any other movies that you um, We just trying to push this shit to the limit, man, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? See where this takes us, and then we're we going to make But I got a lot of projects, but 
you know what I'm saying? It's, I think it's just their time right now. So, you know, I don't want to shine a light on that. You know what I mean? Like I said, I always say the wrong things in the interview, so I don't really give them. But listen, what's your, what's your joint? Plug in? Plug in, yeah. Yeah, plug in. You know what I'm saying? Plug in. It's just hide the shit out. So you need to stay in tune and everything else. You know what I mean? So, yo, shout out to you. You know what I mean? Coming down here, doing everything that you're doing. And you know what I mean? This AMG and all that. You know what I'm saying? So we just keeping it 100. Like y'all keeping it a hundred, you know what I mean? Plug in. Okay, I'm Eric Turner, I'm Andrew. And my name is Rod Dion, I play Howard in the movie. Uh, I'm Andrew, the struggling, disgruntled uh, store owner who unfortunately gets robbed, but I'll let y'all check that one out. Uh, my character, Howard, uh, is actually one of the characters the film centers around, and he goes through his addiction, and he has to find his way back to the path of the straight and narrow, but you know, you'll see how the story unravels and how his addiction kind of unravels the lives of everybody around him. So the story kind of centers around my character and a few other people as well. But I'm looking forward to seeing him with everybody. Indeed. No, I've been in a few Jones, you know what I mean? I've been in a few pieces or whatever, you know, this ain't my first, you know, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this because I got a real feel good feeling about it. What about you, E? Oh, this is my first one, all about Rico Salon Productions. Oh, all the way up, all the way up. <laughs> What he said. <laughs> this thing about to start, though, you know what I mean? All so we're about to get in here and do the damn thing. For sure, for sure. That's what it is, no doubt. One. Yes. Yo, what's up? My cousin Daryl. His name on Instagram is underscore Han Solo, H A N S O L O. My name is Celeste Best, aka CTBNT2010. <laughs> We're here at the Keswick Theater. I'm supporting Heroin the Film with DJ Butterfingers right here. All right, so you, do you know anything about your cousin's character? Like, what are you playing in the movie? I do not. It's all going to be a surprise, but. I'm interested. I'm happy. It's always fun when I see a family member doing anything. Yeah, this is my first time seeing anything, any trailers, any. I'm here. So. All right. All right, so what are you looking forward to seeing, you know, in a movie? Um, I'm looking forward to being like, <gasps> and man, it's some more that. <gasps> it's a more way good and all of that. I want to see all of that fucking switching up the emotions type of shit, cause that's the type of person I am. So. <laughs> all right. What's, what do you got going on right now? Well. I'm gonna be doing my Biggie freestyle tonight, cause I wanna be on the Cypher, the BET, I mean the Philly Hip Hop Awards, which is equivalent. So, yeah, I'm hype about that. As soon as we leave here, I got the bars. I'm probably gonna be coming up with more bars while I'm sitting there waiting. You never know. <laughs> All right, so Miss CTV signing off at the Heroin Film movie premiere. You know what I mean? You wanna say anything before you close out? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Yes, it's Gina Davis. I'm with Swag Magazine. You see the cover with Prince on it. And um, we're just out here at the Heroin premiere. Um, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Rico Salam for doing his thing. And I just want to say thank you. All right. And what brought you out here today to come out support? Um, the, the premiere. Are you, you don't have anything to do with the movie? Are you in the movie or anything? Or are you just... No, I'm just representing magazine? Swag Magazine. Shout out to Train for holding it down. 856 Swag Mag. You see Prince. No tag. Swag Mag at? Um, Instagram, Facebook, online. It's Swag Magazine. All right. Y'all heard it first. We're at the Heroin premiere. Stay tuned. Stay plugged in. Dwayne Parker. <laughs> we got Ernie Earn, Ernie Sweet. Tasha Johnson. She's the bar owner. 
the job. These are the dice balls.
where they starting at, but this ain't where they finishing at. And if y'all want to see the movie again, we actually got it online at herointhefilm.com. So actually, y'all can see it tonight. If y'all want to see it again, you can tell somebody else about it. You know, go check it out. I just want to start by thanking each and every one of you. You all brought each one of your characters to life in ways that we couldn't even imagine. So I have to thank each and every one of you. We could not have done it without y'all. Y'all brought your characters to life, and y'all just amazing. So thank you. That's from the director to each and every one of y'all. Next thing I want to do is I want to take a moment to introduce each crew member. Um, so I want to bring all the crew up here by name too because they work super hard, and without them, we couldn't have gotten this thing shot. So come on up, guys. Crew, come on. Come on. So we start with Jeff, Jeff Hawthorne. He was the assistant director slash VP slash gaffer of the film. I'm gonna bring up John Sullivan, the DP of the film, director of photography. Earl, come on up. Earl's our sound guy. He did all the sound, made it happen. Deb, where you at? Editor Deb, where you at? Come on up. And last, uh, Lamar, sound guy, where you at? Where you at, Lamar? A little bit, yeah. So, basically, oh yeah, that's right, Lamar and Lamar, both of y'all, come on up. These are the music composers, sound editors of the film. So basically, I bring these guys up here because I want them all to get some time. I want you guys to see each person as individuals because we could not have done this with each and every one of you guys. And you know, typically on a film, we have much more than four guys as a production team, way more. So I just kind of want to do this so that everybody can see this and to let everybody know to use this no matter what you have, no matter what kind of budget you got, what kind of anything you got. Anything is possible. It doesn't take a huge crew, it doesn't take 20 departments to make a film, to make a dream come true. So use this, take a look at every one of these guys, and I want you guys to go out and follow your dreams too. Because, because you guys coming here means everything, it means the world to us. Because we've reached our message to every one of you, and we know we're gonna reach many more after this. So from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of the crew, from the bottom of the cast, we all thank y'all with everything. All right, we're about to leave y'all. We're about to go South Street. We have a little meet and greet, so go and meet the actors. You know, pass out some cards, uh, numbers, whatever. What's the address? 216 South Street. His and hers, Booker Lounge. So we go out there. You know, Get something to eat, go something to drink, whatever. We on our way down there, so we should be down there now, so follow us down there. Look, this mic right here. <laughs> this is the beginning. Here we are. We just at the uh, saw the heroin movie premiere with the actually lead actress of the movie. Your name again is Kenesha. 
And your, your uh, character name was? Wanda. Wanda. Yeah, Wanda. So was this your first movie? It was. It was my first feature film. Your first so, feature. Yeah. So you, you did acting before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could tell because you yeah. definitely did a great <laughs> job. You. And that's not just me saying that. You, you did a great job. You yeah. and the other guy, I think he played uh, Leon, what's his name? Uh, Leonard. Leonard. Chavez. He, he, Chavez. Played, like, he really had me convinced yeah. that he was a stalker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was y'all chemistry on set with him really, stalking? Like, he, well, on, because we met during being on set or whatever, um, I don't know, our connection was strong. Like, okay. he's funny in real life, just as, as he was in the movie. In the movie? Yeah, so that, he's, he's cool. All right, so how did, now that we saw the movie and everything, we got a, it seemed like we got a good good support and good turnout. out. How are you feeling about the movie and everything? I want to do number two. You ready? Oh, they're working on, they're going to do another one, or? Oh, okay. We got we got some exclusive, you know what I mean? Some exclusive. But what I'm else ready. are you working on other besides um, this movie? Commercials. commercials. I only this is like my first film, um, and I mostly do commercials. So I did a commercial for colleges. Um, I do modeling. Okay. So I model for like Foreman Mills and Lee uniforms, but That's this is like my first film. Well, where are you from? I'm from Philly. From Philly. Yeah, okay. my dad's so Jamaican though. And my mom's your daddy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we're looking for big things for this heroin movie. We need everybody to definitely go out and support it. It was definitely yeah. a great, um, great movie. It great out actors great. and actresses. Great message, definitely too. And I think a good twist at the end. I wasn't expecting the way exactly, that it ended, right. whatever. But when you when you first came aboard, how did you hear about this? Like, how did you actually get on the movie and everything? Uh, actually, it was when I first started acting. So I went on um, something called Films.com, okay. Films.org. And um, I saw the casting for it, and I went in and I got the role. And you got the role, yeah. took the lead, yeah. and they, they picked the right person. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Thank all right. You. So we appreciate you. Yeah, you know I mean, we're on plugged in. Whatever, make sure y'all stay plugged in every Saturday, 12 to 2. <laughs> Heroin the film premiere. All right, peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to the um after party? I am. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the male lead of the heroin film. Just got out, you know what I mean, to the premiere. How do you feel everything went? Man, I, I feel amazing. <laughs> I mean, I can't really I can't really take all the credit. Like, half my crew, man, they were just like, or the entire crew, they, they really brought it to life, man. No, I, I, your character set the tone, though. Like, <laughs> you really had me thinking, like, yo, is this dude really crazy? <laughs> <laughs> we sitting here watching the movie, like, I don't know. Like, he, he's doing it real good. But you did a great job Thank acting. You. Thank you. Is this your first your first film? Or? This is my very first feature length film, so. If, uh, you say feature, so you have done other parts before? I've done like like little student films and stuff like that, but okay. this is my first where I actually could like show a little bit of range. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you did a great job. <laughs> Thank what you, what type of roles do you usually go for? Because I you you knock this one out the park. Oh uh, man. This one out um, the park. type of roles I usually go for. I kind of take on anything. I'm like a okay. kind of like how Samuel Jackson is. He'll just you be like it's work. He'll like oh I'm down for it. They crackhead or awesome. killer or whatever I got to do to get to the next level, man. Anything. Okay. So what what was your preparation for playing that role? Uh, preparation for playing a role. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard. Uh, of, um, what's his name? It's part of like our future, some music. Uh, it's a song called She by, uh, what is his name? Uh, Tyler the Creator. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's a song where he's talking about kind of like he's stalking this girl. Okay. So I would listen to that song yeah, every and again, day. Like, I listen to it every day and I would get myself like kind of prepped. And I got the nerdy aspect because I'm, I'm really a nerd in real life. Aww. So like I like to make jokes with the girls. I'm like, oh, you're you gonna leave me like that? You're gonna leave me like that? Stuff gotcha. like that. But the crazy side, was me just kind of putting myself in a really, really dark and desperate place. That was that was how I kind of pulled it together. Okay. All right. Yeah. So how did you come a part of the, the movie? How did you hear about it and become that? Well, my friend is actually one of the director was is the director, and he told me, "Hey, man, we got an audition." And I knew the producer, so he was like, "Hey, man, we got like a little audition coming up." So I was like, "All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll check it out. I'll do what I got to do." And I came in, man, and everybody was like silent. It was like, and I was like, "Oh, I did bad." So I started to leave. It was like, "No, no, no." no. You it. So and ever since, it's been like a thing, man. I was on set every single. Single day. All right. Every that's single day, man. And I didn't even get your name. What, what is your name? Uh, Chavez Laguerre. Chavez Laguerre? Yeah. Okay. Where, where are you from? It. I'm actually from West Philly. Philly, so yeah. Philly native, too. Okay. Yep, yep. So, what, what is your chemistry with the uh, the female lead? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be honest with you. That That is the crazy situation. I actually never met her. No. And on the first day, we actually shot the, that one scene where I'm like, <laughs> you know, and I felt so bad. And we became really good friends afterwards. I, I, I became friends with a lot of people on the set, man. She's she's probably one of my really good friends. All right. <laughs> what do you have uh, coming up next? 
Well, I'm actually working on trying to get some roles now. So I, I haven't like auditioned or anything just yet. I'm actually trying to start doing that now. I went until the movie come out, right. so I have something on my belt so I can show people. Gotcha. And then I'm gonna start really auditioning hardcore. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you in more stuff, man. Definitely a great actor. The movie was great. Period. Great message. I think Thank everybody you. did their thing. Like Thank some you. movies, I come to them like, eh, I can see somebody buying it with some <laughs> other actors. But y'all did a great job, man. Thank and you, man. you definitely took that. I mean, so all, like I said on the other interview, we definitely got to support this movie. Great message. Great actors. Yeah, let's go support our own, man. Philly, stand up. It's plugged in. All right, we just got out the movie premiere of Hero in the Film. I'm with the writer and the producer, you know what I mean? Director. <laughs> director? The, writer and director, my bad, writer and director. Definitely a good turnout. Seems like y'all had a lot of support. What did y'all think about the turnout for the, the film and everything? I'm completely overwhelmed by it. I, so many more people than I expected or, or ever even imagined or dreamed of came out tonight. It's so great to know how many people came to back the cause. That's what's up. The cause we came tonight. How you feel? Yeah, man, I'm saying, you know, everybody came out and showed us love, man. We appreciate it, you know. You know, I'm saying, everybody that came out, they, they are loved ones. So, you know, this is word of mouth. Like, we ain't had no expensive promotion, none of that. It was all word of mouth. And everybody came out and we killed it. We filled the cast with 1,300 seats. That's what's up. All of them 1,300 seats. And it's crazy because yeah, coming I mean, from Philly, a lot of people say Philly don't really support. Exactly. They were out here for y'all. And this was based off of your book, you said, right? Yeah, based off the book. So uh, when you wrote your days. book, were you were you thinking, like, was this your vision for it? Or did this come down the line? It's like, it's kind of surreal still. I'm saying it was my vision, but I didn't think I was going to do it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I thought I was going to, somebody else was going to pick it up, but, yeah. you know. You know, it happened. Things happen for a reason, you know. Yeah. Nobody picked it up, so I picked it up. All right. So what's what's <laughs> next for y'all? Uh, well, we be working on part two. Oh, it's gonna be a, okay. Yeah. Well, you kind of got a sneak peek from one yeah. of your actors. Yeah. Yeah. He said it was kind of a secret, but yeah. we're hearing it now. Especially yeah. the wind is blowing yeah. us back yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. live yeah. right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know I mean, but yeah, there's gonna be a part film. two. Actually, you know what I mean, anybody wanna watch it? Herointhefilm.com. Tonight, see we dropped it tonight. We're dropping it tonight. Y'all can get an exclusive look. Make sure y'all go out support the film. Like I said again, definitely a great movie, a great message. Y'all had some great acting. What, what was y'all y'all uh, strategy for picking the actors that y'all had? Uh, we did a casting, and then we just asked some people we knew that we knew acted and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but most of it came from the casting. Uh, yeah, y'all y'all picked a great like y'all two yeah. leads. They were yeah, yeah they, they did a great job and the, the boy uh I keep wanting to call him Leo yeah, yeah Chavez yeah. he killed his role he oh, really yeah. had me convinced that he's really crazy in real life yeah. you know what I mean because yeah. he, he was really doing his thing so yeah. I look forward to seeing more of this you know what I mean Philly y'all definitely got to support this movie I'm not just saying that it was definitely great I was I'm proud that y'all had me here you know what I mean when when what can we look for the the second part uh, we working on it we working on it you know we don't want to uh, you know put it out there. You know, Prematurely, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, you well, say y'all took two years to do this one, two right? Two years, yeah. Well, I'm saying it took us two years to get, get anything right together. Gotcha. We shot it in one month, though. Oh, okay. One All month, right. You know. All right. So, you know, we we, we, we we're working on it, though. All right. So y'all heard it. Heroin, though. Look out heroin. for heroin. Yeah, look out for heroin. Check it out. Herointhefilm.com is dropping tonight. After party at his and hers, man. Come party with us, man. Stay plugged in. Peace. All right. Peace. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thanks a lot. Follow my dreams. Let's go back in time when I was nine or ten. When I was hooping, wasn't thinking about rhyming then. All I knew was that I was gonna go far. If I worked hard one day, I would be a star. Yeah, I had dreams of being famous, living in the good life. My name on the A list, high rise apartments, beachside mansions. That's a long way from the streets that I came from. But I dream big, ain't shit that I can't do. I kept my head high Recognize my limits go further than the sky Respect and success the only things on my mind So I plotted out my plan and then I, then I And I kept reaching, no I never settled I'm controlling this ride, pedal to the metal This dedicated to those peeps who said I'm foolish But I've proven if I can dream it, I can do it They told me never say never Keep it moving with my head up When it rains, it pours But it's gotta get better See, I control my destiny The rest of you can hate all you want But you won't get the best of me I definitely got the recipe to it